So guys, this is the image without the free Lightroom preset. And this is the image after applying this amazing color grading preset. The issue with preset is that it doesn't do selection for you. So there will be no subject separation from the background and uh, there will be undesirable effect of this preset on maybe the skin tone or some other parts that will be our focus on this video to remove those undesirable result of the preset and make the image look awesome while using the preset as a starting point so with no further ado let's get started the first thing you have to do is to come and select the subject from the background how do you do that in adobe camera Raw or adobe lightroom you come to the mark scene and you right click you see select subject select sky brush if you are using an older version of lightroom or camera Raw, you might not be seeing select subject and select sky so you use your brush to paint over areas you are going to fix but this one has select subject so we use select subject to quickly fix the issues So after selecting the subject, you see that this uh, option comes up, these sliders here, where you can adjust the light for individual subjects, adjust the color, and also the effects. So the first thing I'm going to do is adjust the light. We increase the exposure of the subject a little bit, and then also we'll add some contrast to it, and add some black just to pop the subject out of the background and increase the texture, the clarity, and also the dehaze. I'm also going to sharpen the subject a little bit by doing everything to separate the subject from the background by making it sharper and more, and giving it more clarity so that if you ask, I'll go directly to the subject when he looks at the image. So you can also adjust the temperature. You see everything now you can do individually. But if you now overdo anything, I'm just trying to show you the power of selecting the subject. And this cannot be part of any preset because preset disregards selection. So when you are done with that, you can come here to the edits section and then you can make overall adjustment to every other part of the image. You come to the mixer area here and then you see this is exactly the preset setting that we follow the preset. You can readjust or leave it exactly as it is to get this beautiful, amazing result. And you see this sun here is somehow blown out. We can fix that by coming to our marks. And we create a linear gradient map. And then you can see it at max 2 here. So you adjust accordingly as you want. And you can go on this. Is the previous setting I used. You can use that or you can make adjustment as you wish. So one in max, you can now come on, make these selections to bring more details to the blown out sky. The good thing is you can always come back to the marks here. Why is the marks? You can readjust your selection. So you can hold back and forth if you are right here. So this was the before when everything was at default. This is how the image was shot. And this is the image after applying the preset and making some fine adjustment. You can see that the color of this clothes is not looking good the easiest way to fix this is in photoshop so open 
the image in Photoshop. Right here in Photoshop, you can either crop the image, depending on where you're uploading it to. If it's Instagram, you crop 4x5, click on OK, if it on screen, they come here to your hue saturation, take the happy card to accelerate the dress, and then you can adjust easily to get the desired color of the dress. When I work with it, you take a look at it before and after I see that it's affecting other part of the image. So you go to I to invert the max. Take your brush, make sure the foreground is white. I roughly paint over the subject to view this effect. I roughly paint it over because this is a targeted selection, so it's just the blue is affecting. So you can easily just do this without paying too much attention to details. Once you are satisfied, you can make final adjustment using the elliptical marking tool. Come and make a selection around the subject. Create a curves adjustment. This is just to bring more focus to the subject. So you reduce the exposure of the mid tone by dragging the curve down the mid tone area. And then you click on Ctrl I to invert your selection. Then come to the property. Make sure on the layer max and increase the fade rate value like this. And you can reduce the opacity of this effect. You can see when somebody looks at this image, the eye goes directly to the subject because of all these adjustments. So if you haven't liked this video, make sure you like this video. Leave your feedback in the comment section. Free to ask any question in the comment section. If you have any problem in photo editing, photo retouching or photography in general, feel free to let us know in the comment section so we can help you out right here on this channel. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you'll be the first notified or put out new helpful photography tip, trick and tutorial. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.